Hello friends, Namaskar. Tax audit is a very important compliance which is required on the part of an assessee, particularly when he or she is a businessman or a professional. So when you are a businessman or a professional, you need to see that for the relevant financial year, whether your volume of the business has exceeded that threshold limit which is fixed in the law, which prompts you to get tax audited or not. So through today's video, I am trying to put up my ideas for you that when you are liable for the assessment year 22-23, that is financial year 21-22, to get your books of account documents tax audited under section 44 AB of Income Tax Act 1961. So now we start with the first point that if you are a businessman and it is to be determined whether you are liable for tax audit or not. So what is important there is to understand that what is the quantum of your total sale, gross receipt or turnover. If your total sale, gross receipt or turnover by default exceeds rupees 1 crore during the relevant previous year, you are into tax audit net, you are into tax audit coverage. But some of you may say, no Mr. Bhatia, we have heard that, that this threshold limit has exceeded in past. Yes sir, you are right. The government two years ago has said that okay, if you are gross receipt total sale turnover is beyond rupees 10 crore that is up to 10 crore no tax audit is applicable so there is a huge gap between 1 crore and 10 crore limit by default i said above 1 crore tax audit is applicable then i am saying no no beyond 1 crore also tax audit is not required and some of you may object me no mr bhati under section 44 ad the threshold limit is beyond 2 crore yes you are right i will discuss on that also but prima facie you understand it in this manner that okay by default, you are liable to get audited if your gross receipt total uh, sales or turnover exceed 1 crore. But if there is another condition which is matched in your case, then you are not liable up to 10 crore. Beyond 10 crore turnover gross receipt total sale, you will be liable. What is that? If the aggregate of all amount received, including amount received for sales, turnover or gross receipt during the previous year in cash does not exceed 5% of the said amount, an aggregate of all payment made including amount incurred for expenditure in cash during the previous year does not exceed 5% of side payment. So what is an important condition thereof is that if out of your total payments and out of your total receipts, if of that amount the cash receipt and cash, cash payment are not exceeding 5% of total receipt and payment, then up to 10 crore no tax audit is applicable and beyond 10 crore tax audit applicability would arise on the businessman. However, the important aspect of section 44 AD is also yet to be discussed. I will come on that part also in this video only. Now, before I move into section 44 AD aspect, let me first also discuss with you that if you are a professional, then what is the gross receipt level for tax audit applicability? Please note that as a professional, either a person can be specified profession or he can be carrying on a non-specified profession. So may you carry on a specified profession or may you carry on a non-specified profession, it doesn't affect from tax audit perspective, if your gross receipt in the profession are exceeding rupees 50 lakh, then tax audit would apply, otherwise not. One Question which may come here in your mind is, okay, Mr. Bhatia, let us know what is a specified profession. Sir, a specified profession means a profession which is mentioned under section 44 AA of Income Tax Act. And some examples of that are, say, charter accountant, a medical practitioner, that is a doctor, an advocate, an interior decorator, or an architect, an authorized representative, or film actors and actresses, company secretaries, and there may be some other categories which are notified in this behalf. So what I mean to say that maybe you are a specified professional, maybe you are not. If as a professional your gross receipt exceeds 50 lakh, say for an example a sportsman is a professional but not a specified professional under section 44 double. So if gross receipt of a sportsman exceed for a year 50 lakh rupees, he or she is liable to get his books of account document, her books of account document audited. So that is an important aspect which we should understand. Now my dear friends, let's discuss a very important aspect of section 44 AD and tax audit applicability. See, some of you might have felt that Anup is speaking wrong, Mr. Bhatia, you are speaking wrong. 
as beyond 1 crore is not the right threshold limit beyond 2 crore is the right threshold limit for tax audit sir i may partially agree with you how let me say that if you are carrying on an eligible business within the meaning of section 44 ad of income tax law now what is a eligible business say for example retail trading wholesale trading they are eligible business but there are certain businesses which are not covered under section 44 ad of income tax law say for example commission activity a company is not covered under section 44 ad an llp is also not covered under section 44 ad not every person is covered under 44 ad some of you might also say okay mr vadia let us know what is section 44 ad sir 44 ad is called presumptive business now what is presumptive business in which you offer certain percentage of your total receipt or sale as a margin and that is as such accepted by the government without looking into what is the actual earning of yours so say if i am a retail trader who is running a retail shop say a shoe shop through which i am selling shoes and for a year i am earning 1.5 crore rupees and on 1.5 crore rupees i wish to offer 10% of profit as 15 lakh rupees no issue government will accept it as such so this is called presumptive taxation now in section 44 ad kind of business moment your turnover exceeds 2 crore then tax audit would be applicable and other criteria is section 44 ad subsection 4 i read it for your reference we are a person carrying on eligible business falls into section 44 ad 4 and his income exceeds the maximum amount not chargeable to income tax then tax audit will be a must so now the point comes that when you are falling into 44 ad subsection 4 then in that case even if you are an eligible business from the perspective of 44 ab you are liable to get your books of account document audited so what is that particular criteria that is very important for us to understand so to have more clarity on that i will put up that 44 ad subsection 4 before you now here is the provision of section 44 ad subsection 4 before you let me read it where an eligible assessee declares profit for any previous year in accordance with the provisions of this section and he declares profit for any of the five assessment years relevant to the previous year succeeding such previous year not in accordance with provisions of subsection 1 he shall not be eligible to claim the benefit of provisions of this section for the five assessment year subsequent to the assessment year relevant to the previous year in which the profit has not been declared in accordance with provisions of subsection now to put it through an example if i say that for assessment year 21 22 i offered on a total sale of rupees say 1 crore 20 lakh rupees a margin of 10% on an ad hoc basis under 44 ad saying that i earn 12 lakh rupees say for the assessment year 22 23 my gross receipt is 150 lakh rupees and i am saying i just earned 4% that is 6 lakh now what is happening in the preceding assessment year i claim 44 ad in this year year time into eligible activity eligible business i am offering just 4% of the profit because my actual profits because of corona or other effect has have been low now if i want to offer 6 lakh rupees i can't do it under 44 ad because it is lower than even 6 or 8% so what i am supposed to do as per 44 double a i am supposed to maintain books of account and as per 44 ab i am supposed to get my books of account document audited not only that my dear friends it is important to note that once you fall into 44 ad subsection 4 then the year of withdrawal in which you withdraw that is the present case 22 23 plus 5 year next to such year you are liable to get your books of account document audited even if your threshold limit is not exceeding so what we can understand by default it can't be said that moment you wish to offer lower margin then 44 ad you are liable for audit it is to be seen whether in the year 1 or any other year preceding year assessee has claim 44 ad if yes and then he is by default in the subsequent year with the turnover limit already into 44 ad but he wishes to offer lower margin then books of account are to be maintained and audit must be carried out now let's have a discussion on section 44 ad and tax audit let me simplify 44 ad a it is as i said that there are certain professions who are called specified professional so say a specified professional has 40 lakh rupees of the receipt 
the gross receipt level fixed up under 44 ad a is 50 lakh rupees and this person can offer 50% minimum of the income and then he need not to provide the exact expenses detail etc or he may offer more than 50% even but suppose he wishes to claim that no i did not earn 50% i earned only 30% that is 12 lakh rupees as practice business practice profession related income in that case this person is liable to get his books of account document audited i read it if a specified professional eligible to claim the benefit of section 44 ada offers lower profit or gain from the profession then 50% and his or her income exceeds the maximum amount not chargeable to tax then tax audit shall be applicable so as a professional tax audit would apply when your gross receipt either exceed 50 lakh or your gross receipts are up to 50 lakh rupees but you don't wish to offer 50% because you are claiming that your actual income is lower in that case as a professional you are liable to get your books of account document audited under section 44 ab of income tax act 1961 now my dear friend there is one more presumptive taxation section 44 ae what it says that if you are a person who is into the business of goods carriages or plying hiring leasing goods carriages then in that case you may offer your income on presumptive basis if your goods carriage which is owned by you is more than 12 net tonnage capacity 12 tonnage capacity then in that case you have to offer 1000 rupees per ton per month basis and if your goods carriage vehicle is up to 12 ton capacity then in that case 7500 rupees per month per vehicle is to be offered as income now suppose you wish to claim that no i don't have such kind of income this is a higher amount than what i actually earn then in that case you are liable to get your books of account document audited if a person carrying on business of plying hiring leasing of goods carriages any offers lower profit than those mentioned in 44a of income tax act 1961 he or she is liable to get such books of account document audited now let's have a discussion on fno transactions and tax audit which is one of the favorite topic for tax audit related discussion wherever i have a tax audit discussion fno query is bound to arise in fno sir first thing which i would like to point out that your turnover computation aspect is very important that is you have computed your turnover with the absolute addition of the profit and loss under the various transaction further enhanced by any kind of premium which you have absorbed on sale of certain options etc so what i am suggesting that prima facie beyond 1 crore in fno transaction tax audit should be required but that 5% criteria thing which we discuss and as i know that fno transaction are mostly and mostly through bank account only so if you do not breach the 5% condition that is up to the turnover of rupees 10 crore if your total receipts total payments beyond 5% of that cash receipt payment are not involved then in that case you may enjoy rupees 10 crore rupees as the exemption limit for tax audit however if you go beyond this level then tax audit would be must in a fno transaction scenario even i would also like to update you quickly that what are the due dates for tax audit sir for assessment year 22 23 unless time limit is further extended by government of india the due date of tax audit to be uploaded by your chartered accountant to be accepted by you is 30th of september 2022 and if you have tax audit applicability then your itr must be filed up to 31st of october 2022 at the end my dear friends i must say that tax audit is very important aspect for those businesses who breach the threshold limit which i have discussed in this particular video so if your threshold is exceeding and you are not getting your books of account document then you may be liable to pay the penalty as per section 271b of income tax act 1960 so i hope this video would be able to get you a clarity on what is the threshold limit for assessment year 22 23 and would accordingly be able to save you from possibility of levy of penalty under section 271b of income tax act 1961 so thank you very much for listening to me wishing you all the best jai